Today I'm going to show you how to ins install the Nick collection of Photoshop plugins into Affinity Photo. Now before we start there's two things you need to consider. One is have you already tried to install Nick collection? My guess is you have or you won't be watching this video. Um, if you have you need to rerun your installation program and select the uninstall uh, button and that will clean uh, Nick collection off your machine. The second thing you need to consider is where you're going to store your um, plugins once they're installed. And to do this, we need to create a folder in our applications uh, folder. I'm just going to double click on Finder, highlight applications, and then I'm going to right click in a white area and just select new folder. And I'm going to call this new folder Photoshop plugins and just press enter and we can close the application window. You should have by now previously downloaded the Nick installation program. So just click on your downloads and double click the uh, icon for Nick plugins. There we are, Nick collection. And that opens up the installation program for you. We're just gonna click the Nick collection uh, installation button, which is the one with the green arrow facing downwards. Continue through the welcome screen, select your country, accept the terms and conditions. I read them all, I know them off by heart. Now, this is a screen that's important. You'll notice here that I've got Lightroom installed on my uh, iMac um, and nothing else. Now, if I was to continue, the only plugins that would get installed would be those for Adobe Lightroom um, and they would not be recognized by Affinity Photo. So we need to tell the computer that um, I still want it to install uh, the Photoshop version of the plugins. And to do this, we need to click this little plus icon at the bottom of the um, uh, installation screen here. And we're going to go back to the folder we created earlier um, in Applications. And you can see it's already highlighted for me. Um, that's because we called it Photoshop plugins. And we're just going to make sure it's highlighted blue and click open and you'll see here now in the compatible host applications list um, we now have Adobe Photoshop custom one so what that means is the installation program knows it has to install the Photoshop plugins um, so we just press continue we can check the address and location is applications forward slash knit collection which is exactly what we want and then we can click install. Right, this is going to take some time, um, so I'm not going to make you sit through this process. I'll fast forward to the uh, next stage. Okay, we're back. The installation has been successful. Woohoo! Right, we can just press close and we can close down the uh, Nick uh, collection installation program. Right, the next step now is to open up um, Affinity Photo. So go to Applications, um, select Affinity Photo, and give it a while, and it should pop up on your screen. This isn't the facet of Max, but there we go. Right, first screen we're faced with now is a Preferences screen, which is useful because that's the exact screen we want. Um, you need to go across to the Photoshop Plugins tab. And this is where we're going to tell Affinity uh, Photo where it's going to find the uh, Photoshop plugins we've just installed. If you have made a previous attempt at installing the collection, it's been unsuccessful, and you've already directed Affinity Photo to certain folders on your computer, it's probably a good idea to remove those files and folders. It's simply a case of highlighting them and then clicking Remove Folder. If you haven't made a previous attempt, and we're starting from scratch, your screen should look very much like this. And what we're going to do now is under plugin search folders, we're going to click on add folder. And we're just going to direct Affinity Photo to applications and the Photoshop plugin folder we created earlier. And you can see there's a further folder called Google, but we don't want to highlight that. We just want to highlight the Photoshop plugins. Once your screen looks like mine, just click on the OK button. And you'll see here under plugin search folders, it's found applications, Photoshop plugins. Now, before we continue, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to add another folder. 
under Plugin Support Folders. And to do this, we just simply click on Add Folder, and then we're going to press on our keyboards Shift, Command, and G. And this brings up the Go To folder um, selection. We don't need to do anything here, we just need to ensure that little forward slash is highlighted blue as it is on the screen and just press go and then press OK. So we'll see here under plugin support folders we've just got the little forward slash and under plugin search folders we've still got the applications forward slash Photoshop plugins and that's exactly what we want and just press close. Now Affinity Photo asks us do we want to restart which we have to do in order for the new setting to be recognized. So we'll just press restart now. Okay, and here we are back in Affinity Photo. We can close down the preference window as we don't need this anymore. I'm just going to go up to File and I'm going to open up a recent project I was working on. There we go. Now, just to show you that the plugin has actually installed correctly. I'm going to highlight this top layer and go to Filters, come down to Plugins, Knit Collection, and there we have the full uh, Knit Collection suite. I'll just click on um, Color Effects just to show you it does actually open and it is the full retail uh, version and not the, uh, the demo. Like I said, this machine isn't the fastest, so give it a few days. Okay, and there we have it. Um, Knit Collection always opens up the last uh, uh, plugin you used. In this case, it was Pro Contrast. And if we move a few of the sliders, you can see that the uh, plugin does actually work. Okay, there you go. You can see Knit Collection is fully installed and fully operational. Um, I'll close this down. I hope you found this uh, tutorial uh, useful. If you did, please come back to my YouTube channel in the future because I will be posting um, more uh, tutorials for Affinity Photo as I get deeper into the program myself. Thanks very much for your time.